Before we begin, I would like to give a huge shout real out to reason CK behind why Durant, Durant wears number know what 35. It's basically the smartest way to buy and sell tickets to live events. You can use SeatGeek to find tickets to concerts, Broadway, comedy shows, and even the Let's NBA finals. SeatGeek searches for tickets all over the web, which means that you'll see far more results and find better deals than if you tried searching on your own, saving you both oh. time and money. To top it off, you oh guys can goodness. use my promo code INSIDER17 to get $20 morning. off your first purchase. Click the link in the description box down below to find out more once again thank you to see Go ahead, don't stop video. enjoy let's get it paying tribute to past icons by wearing their jersey numbers is fine and well but some players have unique and personal stories behind the numbers they choose for some it may be a tragic incident and for others it might be to remember great players of the nba's past in today's video i take a look at the real meaning behind nba superstar kevin durant's jersey number welcome okay. to nba insider For his entire NBA career, Kevin Durant has worn the number 35. To many, this number is, well, just a number. But to Kevin Durant, there is a bigger story behind it. Kevin Durant wears the number 35 in honor of his childhood coach, Charles Chucky Craig. Craig was murdered at the age of 35, and Durant has worn that number ever since. He would always refer to him as Big Chucky. Craig was supposed to be by Durant's side when he signed his letter of intent to Texas, continuing the basketball dream Craig first created. He was also supposed to be there when Durant sat in the green room on the night of the 2007 NBA draft, eagerly counting down the final moments before he fulfilled his dream as the number two overall pick. Craig was Durant's first basketball coach. He died on April 30th, 2005 in Laurel, Maryland. He was a victim of multiple gunshot wounds. And just like Durant's jersey number, he was 35. When Durant got wind of the news of Craig's death, he was a junior at prep powerhouse Oak Hill Academy in southwestern Virginia. Durant immediately went into a state of shock. Durant still isn't clear on what exactly happened. As Durant heard it, Craig was outside an apartment complex getting a fresh breeze of air with friends when an altercation broke out. The chaos subsided, but hours later, gunfire rang out. Craig, dressed in a yellow shirt, was easily spotted and assumed to be a participant in the earlier dispute. Charles Craig had been shot multiple times in the upper body, according to police records. He's a person that died for no reason, Durant said. Since his freshman season at the University of Texas, Durant has worn number 35 in honor of Chucky. They'd go to basketball games and to the movies. When Durant needed pocket money or a meal, Craig was there. Durant, now a multi-millionaire, drives a conversion van, partly because of fond memories of piling into Craig's van with teammates and traveling to games. Many years later, Durant's number 35 jersey that honors Craig has become the NBA's 15th best-selling jersey, ahead of fellow All-Stars Tim Duncan, Dirk Nowitzki, Amari Stoudemire, and Chris Bosh. More and more fans in business cities nope. attend games sporting Durant's jersey. Every so often, Durant glances into the stands and becomes filled with joy at the sight. Without them knowing, they've got a piece of chalk on, Durant said. The University of Texas retired Durant's number 35 jersey, hanging it in the rafters alongside only two other former Longhorns. Durant even initiated a movement to get players from his hometown to honor Craig in the same fashion. His brother, Tony wore number 35 for his team last season. Chris Braswell, a freshman at UNC Charlotte, wears 35 for the same reason. In a day and age where stars like Kobe Bryant and LeBron James change their numbers mainly huh? for marketing purposes, Durant proudly wears his number 35 for the most genuine of reasons. Although this video is mainly targeted towards Durant's jersey number, there are other players in the league who wear jerseys for a reason. Gilbert Arenas wore the number 0 for most of his NBA career as a constant reminder about how many minutes his critics thought he would get, including his coach oh, in the University of Arizona. Even though Michael Jordan is mainly associated Jordan. with the number 23, the origin of the number is all about his brother Larry. Larry won most of his one-on-one -on -one matches against Michael and started the high school varsity team that his brother didn't make, so it was thought that Larry is the one with more basketball talent. All of that changed when Michael grew taller than him, but Michael still picked the number 23 in high school because he wanted to be at least half as good as his brother, who wore number 45. Metal World Peace wore 37 after signing with the Lakers in 2009 to honor Michael Jackson, whose album Thriller spent 37 weeks on the top of the pop charts. Damian Lillard wears the number zero for the letter O which represents his journey in life. He was born in Oakland, played college ball in Oakland, and his first NBA team is in Oregon. Dwayne Wade is deeply Christian and his number three represents the Holy Trinity. During Dennis Rodman's time with the Mavericks, Rodman requested the number 69 but David Stern wouldn't allow that so he had to settle for 70. And before you ask, nobody in the NBA has ever worn the number 69. Chris Paul wears the number three because both his father and older brother are named Charles which makes them CP1 and CP2 leaving Chris Paul with CP3. When Russell Westbrook was asked why he chose to wear the number zero at UCLA, he said, You 
You go with the zero when you've been through something and you are looking to get a new beginning. It helps you to get going again and it helps you get the swag back. If you enjoyed this video, I would like to see more content like this. Feel free to show some love by leaving Thanks. a like and subscribing. Also, if you have any thoughts and or recommendations for future videos, That'll feel do free it. to leave them down in the comments section below. You guys should also follow me on Twitter and Instagram to get the latest updates. I'll leave a link to both in the description box below. Until next time, this has been another segment of NBA Insider. Thanks for watching.